I was to meet with Richard Nixon uh, in New York on November 22nd. We were to write a book together. Uh, and um, he was flying in from Dallas, where he had given a speech the day before. Uh, I learned uh, of, uh, of, the, of the death of Kennedy and immediately called his secretary. We were to meet in his office on Wall Street. She said she didn't know anything in the days before his cell phone. And uh, well, you're better off to go to his apartment. Uh, which was on 62nd Street and, and, and Fifth Avenue. Uh, so I went there, uh, and I found out that he, when he got off the airplane at LaGuardia Airport in, in Queens uh, and took a taxi into Manhattan, it was then uh, when a red light, uh, the cab was stopped, and somebody else shouted, hey, did you hear that Kennedy's been assassinated? That's how Richard Dixon heard about it. Uh, so he, Rosemary Woods was right. He went right to his home. Uh, when he opened the door, clearly I was the first person uh, who was a friend of his uh, who he could talk to. Uh, and I'd say he was, he was shaky. Uh, I assumed it was a sort of there, but for the grace of God go I. After all, he had lost the presidency by just a few votes uh, to John Kennedy. Uh, but it was more complicated than that. He opened his attache case and pulled out a copy of the Dallas Morning News to show me a press conference he had had the day before. Uh, Adlai Stevenson had been in Dallas and had been spat upon. Uh, and in the Nixon press conference, he was saying, no, no, this isn't the way we conduct conduct in a democracy. And the, 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 the message was, in a sense, why he was showing it to me was, somehow we were the opposition party, we were the bad guys, but we had nothing to do with this assassination, as far as I know. He was making that case. Uh, he then uh, called first Eisenhower uh, and then J. Edgar Hoover, the head of the FBI, uh, and uh, Hoover said, no, no, it wasn't a right winger. It was somebody with a connection to Castro. I don't know the time, so I don't know how quickly the FBI always had that information. Uh, the rest of the day was preparing a statement that Nixon gave, a very different statement. The reporters were gathered downstairs uh, than there, but for the grace of God, or thank God, wasn't a right winger. He talked about uh, his uh, his recollections, fond recollections of John Kennedy.